Kazuka, kind of swear, of independence and say his happiness depended on marital status. That would be the chi-square question. And you can fit a nice easy chi-square for this, it'd be no problem, right? Okay, all right, I'm going the wrong way. Right? So to fit an ordered logit, it's real simple. The command is O logit. So let me read in the data. Just like before with all these other models we see up here, we have these number of observations. This is the likelihood ratio test to see is this model better than just nothing, right? This is the, this is the probability associated with that test and this is the pseudo R squared as we talked about before. Nothing changes. We interpret this the same way. But notice here there's one parameter. There's one parameter, it's just married. What is the effect of being married in being in a low category versus the high category? Okay. These thresholds, it says cut here. This is where we believe on the logit scale, which goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, are the thresholds at which it becomes a 50-50 proposition between being not happy, not very happy, and happy. And this second cut point is the threshold at which it becomes a 50-50 proposition of being happy versus very happy. So what do we see here? We see people who are married are more likely to be in the higher category as opposed to the lower category at any point on the continuum. That's how we would interpret this. These, unless you're really interested in describing happiness, are artifacts of the model. As a psychologist, I'm usually interested in these kinds of things. Because if you think about it, if you think about it, this is, uh, it's a logic. These are logits, and logits are measured on the ratio scale. Measured on the ratio scale, which allows me to say how much happier one person is from another, if I were to think about it as a psychological construct, as a just opposed to saying there's an ordinal difference. Because it's a logit, I can figure out where they are on this continuum and estimate how much happier someone who is in one group versus another group. Right? So that's an interesting way of treating your data, thinking about your data. So when I exponentiate those logits, married people are 2.7 times higher, are 2.7 times more likely to be in the higher happiness group as compared to the unmarried across the entire set of responses. The comma odds OR, could you have done that with the M-logit too? Yeah, it didn't work with the M-logit. It didn't work, but yeah. theoretically it Theoretically, you yeah. 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 Okay. Ordered logits, cumulative logits. This is a very strong assumption. Essentially what the proportional odds assumption really is, technically speaking, it, it speaks to the slope of the logit curve. It speaks to the slope of that S function here. The multinomial logit relaxes that assumption. Right. Okay. So, sorry. So that that's just saying in the high in, in between those two groups. Yes. They're more likely to be higher than the lower. Yes. And the program determined where the cutoffs for the groups were, but we said how many cutoffs. The how program. Many, so no, 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 no. Like no. We're what? treating happiness in this case. We really believe it's a continuous function underneath. Mm -hmm. But we have created this artificial trichotomy. So the right. intercepts, those thresholds, we, 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 yeah. 
we can interpret them as where on this continuous thing that we're measuring is, is it, does it become a 50-50 proposition of being in the low group versus the high group? So with these logits, I can actually mark it on my logit scale. Negative 1.45 here and 1.34 here in logit units. Right? So, and because these are logits, it's a nice distance from zero. It's a distance from zero. I could, we could actually say, you know, if somebody was at this point and someone was at this point, we could say that these people are x times more likely is more happy than them with a little bit more modeling. That's what IRT model does. But the idea here is to take, is I want you guys to think about the nature of your variables and what kinds of questions do you want answered. And if you can think of an interesting question, there's probably a way to model your interesting question as opposed to just doing the chi-square. Because the chi-square probably isn't answering the question that you're really asking. It just says, are they independent? Okay. Yes or no. whoop de doo To what extent are they independent? How much does one thing influence another? That's an interesting question. Want to go first? I agree. He agrees. Asking the keynote. All right, we'll pick up here <laughs> next week. Yeah.